Our first project is peer tutoring. An East team wanted to help Greenbrier Junior High School students that have fallen behind in class. For instance, students that have missed school due to quarantine may have several assignments that they need assistance with completing due to learning gaps. Our solution was to use Google Sheets to create a spreadsheet to organize student information and other logistics of our program. We used it to document the effectiveness of the program and collect data on the project's impact on student growth. Having documentation of our effectiveness is key to gaining continued administrative support for future expansion of our project. An obstacle we faced was the lack of communication between our e-students and the administrators. After some patience and slight reworking of our project, we were able to get approval to implement our project. Currently, we have completed multiple tutoring sessions with non-East students. Our next steps will be to expand the project by tutoring more students of other grades, including more class subjects, and recruiting more tutors. The second project is named History of GJHS. Our school building recently underwent an addition, so Mr. Miller, the principal, brought a project to document the history of our school district before it fades. Because of the extensive expansions, the history cannot be explained without visual representation. We decided to use Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator to create several posters and collages. Currently, we have collected a sufficient amount of pictures, learned how to use specific features in the softwares, and are waiting for feedback from Mr. Miller, the principal, about the photos. Our next steps will be to continue learning more about the softwares and to complete prototypes for the administration to approve. We also have future plans to create an ArcGIS story map of the old campus. Currently, one of the main strengths of the project is collaboration. We received multiple yearbooks from former students of our school. This allowed us access to historic photographs. However, we also had many impediments. Because yearbooks don't often anticipate people forgetting important details such as building names, it was extremely difficult to find out what buildings served for specific purposes. bus route mapping. A group of our East students wanted to help bus drivers and bus substitutes to know where to pick up and drop off students. The solution the students had was to use ArcGIS to create maps of bus routes. They had to learn how to use ArcGIS in order to apply it effectively. This website greatly enhanced their interest and engagement in this project. Currently, they have 23 maps done. The next steps will be giving the maps to the appropriate buses and establishing them for substitute bus drivers. COVID kindness. Another team of East students wanted to encourage and uplift people who are feeling sad or alone during COVID. Their solution was to use software such as Adobe Illustrator and Tinkercad to create cards, keychains, posters, and TV displays. They realized that COVID-19 was having a negative impact on the mental health of people in the surrounding community, especially high-risk individuals who face more isolation than others. In an effort to remedy the situation, some of the team made cards with Adobe Spark to be dropped off at the local nursing home. Another way the East team exerted COVID kindness was to design and create personalized keychains for friends or family. The website Tinkercad was used to design the keychains and then they were 3D printed. The next steps of the project will be to distribute the products to the clients in need. Our next project is the Fall Pep Road. A team of East students wanted to help Greenbrier Junior High School to increase school spirit in a safe manner due to COVID-19. Our solution was to use sophisticated technology, including Adobe products, to create a virtual pep rally. We limited the audience of our pep rally in order to protect the privacy and safety of the students shown. Currently, we have finished the pep rally. Nevertheless, our next pep rally we could expand the video by connecting all the footage into one video. Our hopes are during the next pep rally in the spring, we could do better to improve the video quality. It will be similar to fall pep rally, but the video will exhibit different activities such as baseball, soccer, FCCLA, and more. One of our obstacles we had to overcome was some of the photos weren't uploading correctly. We overcame this challenge by regathering the photos 
and downloading correctly with what time we had left on our deadline. To fix this problem in our next prep rally, we will pay close attention to the photos and how they are applied to the video.